What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with some Raid Shadow Legends. And I'm uh, going to do kind of a cool video today. We are here on the main account. And uh, I figured, you know, the spider has been beating the crap out of us over on the free-to-play account. And with me recently completing Faction Wars and getting Lydia, I've kind of reached a point in the game where I can kind of relax a little bit. I don't have to be pressing to complete content anymore. Uh, I have a chance to farm a little bit, build up some silver. Uh, I had actually almost close to 30 million over the weekend before I actually did build my Lydia. Uh, blew most of that on her. But I wanted to start doing some fun uh, kind of later game content. I know I cater a lot to most of the free-to-play uh, mid-game low spend type players, but I also did want to start doing some showcases for dungeons and some champions. So some of the stuff you're going to see on this video is not necessarily going to be free to play. We're going to have some legendary champions that we use. Uh, we're going to have multiples of some really good void rares that we're going to be using that you may not be able to pull like me on my free to play account. <laughs> so, but the whole point of this video is just have a little bit of fun to showcase some really fun teams. And since we're getting closer to getting into the late game to build some teams that are going to allow us to farm a lot faster and more effectively, so before we get started here, I always like to start off showing you guys my great haul. This is again my main account that I've been playing for over a year. And uh, we farm Arena pretty regularly. You can see there we've done 93 wins, two losses this week so far. Uh, generally just farm gold four. I don't really worry too much about getting into platinum at this point. Uh, but you can kind of see the way the great haul is there. Uh, everything is at least level four. We still got a lot of work to do here. We do have some level tens finished, but we still got a ways to go. And uh, we're constantly farming, and about every two weeks during Clan vs. Clan, we'll, we'll add some upgrades to this. So that will just give you an idea there. But let's just jump right in because it's there's some tournaments going on, and we'll take a look at these two teams that I have built. Now, one of these teams is specific for Spider 20, which we'll show in just a minute. You can see there the time is 13 seconds. It's a pretty fast team. And then Spider 25 and 24 is the other team. Uh, this team will also work on 21 and 22. Has a little trouble on 23 because our main champion is Magic Affinity and the force there can kind of give us a little bit of a uh, problem there. So stage 25, we'll just go right in here. And you can see the team, we got Tyrant, we have Renegade, uh, one of our cold hearts. We have three cold hearts all together on this account that are built. Uh, Achak the Wenderin, and then we do have Sir Nick. This is a team that is set up uh, predetermined with the AI changes in the team setup, which we'll go over here in a minute. And uh, let's go ahead and just start this up. Let you guys take a look. Hopefully this is going to work. It, it worked every single time I tested it. And of course, whenever I do a video, usually it likes to fail. Now, best case scenario, this is about a minute 30-ish when it goes perfectly. Uh, it's about two and a half to three minutes if part of it fails but that's kind of why we have santa in this comp he is there sort of as an insurance policy um i actually got that idea from uh layla fox when she was streaming today she had santa and her spider uh team and then was telling me about the shields and how it helps survivability a little bit so i wanted to try that out and so that's kind of a little uh twist there that we put on this usually it's you'll see people just run tyrant and act act the winder with a little bit of a variation uh so the basic idea here is that Tyrant's going to throw out his HP burn. Uh, Cold Heart's going to slam a little bit extra damage in there with her Heart Seeker. Renegade is in here just to reset those abilities. Um, also to reset Santa's uh, attack where he puts the shields on everyone. And then she's basically just going to die usually. She's not really here to do much besides that. As long as she survives for the first couple of turns, that's really all we need her for. Now, with this comp, the spider will heal at least once. And then usually, uh, if everything goes to plan, we are able to take her down after that first heal. Now you'll notice that everybody got kind of low there after she healed up, and that's kind of why we have Santa here because he's tuned in here to put up his unkillable uh, just before uh, that goes off. Now unfortunately, for some odd reason, our cold heart has died. And that's the first time that's happened, of course, uh, because that's what this game loves to do. It loves to troll you. Uh, the one thing that drives me insane about Raid is the RNG. Even when you build a team that's like you think it's 100%, you'll get to like run 80 with it and it fails just out of nowhere or something silly happens. I think we're still going to be okay here. Uh, and that's like I said, kind of why Santa is in here. He's in here to basically make sure this team survives with the shielding and the unkillable. And yeah, I think we're still going to be fine. Uh, we got enough of the HP burn up to be able to still bring her down. So there you go. Minute 53 again, not the fastest time. That was not best case scenario. Uh, that was more middle of the road, but this team usually will go anywhere between a minute 32 and like two and a half minutes i've had a couple runs on the outlier about three minutes that where it just got out of control completely but you saw that we lost our cold heart that usually doesn't happen and we still were able to finish it 
Uh, you got Tyrant coming in there with 11 million. Let's just run it again one more time so you guys kind of see it again. And kind of the rotation is, you know, we have Tyrant comes out, of course, he puts out the HP burn. Uh, we've got Cold Heart's going to slam in a Heart Seeker there for a little extra damage. We're going to try to freeze as many of the Spiderlings as we can. And uh, then Santa's there to just put out that shield for us to increase our survivability. Uh, along with the unkillable to let us tank that first explosion when she does heal up. Hopefully they'll do a little bit better this time. Uh, but you can see there with Renegade, you know, dropping those cooldowns for us. We're able to get another round of HP burns out as well before she does the first heal. And you'll see in a little bit when I show you these champs. Uh, my Cold Heart's gear is not amazing. That's, that's why we're not doing as much damage as uh, you may see in some other videos. You know, my account, I'm just now starting starting to get into the later game all, all i really have left to do is hard doom tower but i've pretty much done everything else you know we completed faction wars last week so uh but we still have got to we got to start farming some gear and that's one of the reasons i wanted to build these teams so that we could start farming uh spider dungeon a lot more quickly and that's kind of the cool thing about our spider 20 team now is we've got a crazy team there where we can now just farm spider 20 like it's nobody's business and uh really helps for the spider tournaments helps first clan versus clan so just trying to make these improvements uh, to the account as we go. And this is looking like another rough run here. I'm not sure why. Of course, you know, I'm trying to make a video on it. So they're having all kinds of issues. And this run looks like it's actually going to fail. So there you go, guys. You've got... Uh, <laughs> that's usually what happens here. So unfortunately, this is the first time tonight it has failed on me. Like I said, I tried to extensively test this to make sure it was good before it happened. I don't think there's enough HP burn left to finish her off but you never know. Yep, she's gonna blow those up. So we know this is a failure. That's the first failure. Great, and it happened right on video. So you guys can all see it. Let's replay this again. This, you know, this is killing me here. But that's what I'm saying about this game, like the RNG. I ran this five times in a row where it was like a minute 35, a minute 37, a minute 32, a minute 35. And it's almost like this game is the matrix and it learns and it just all of a sudden is like, oh, I see what you're, you're trying to build an effective team. You're, you're trying to build something that's going to decrease your time spent. Okay, for whatever reason, we're just going to change some variable variable behind the scenes and your runs gonna, are going to start failing. And they're not going to work anymore. Um, this happened to me when I was trying to build my Dragon 25 and Dragon 20 teams for a long time. It's like you get it to work and it would work fine and just, you know, you'd run 10, 20 runs and like everything's perfect. And then all of a sudden it'll fail three or four in a row. And it's just, it's mind blowing how there's like that 3% RNG built in, like a little resistance somewhere. One of your debuffs doesn't land and it just throws the entire thing off. And that's kind of what we saw uh, the last run there. Now here, it looks like I can kind of tell where her health bar is after she heals, whether or not it's going to be a good run. This looks like it might be a decent run here. Let's see how this goes. We gotta get back to get our HP burn out here hopefully get the ally protect up there from tyrant if we can get the hp burn up here and get around to another heart seeker we should be okay hp burn is out so there we go we do get the heart seeker up freeze out on this that's the other thing too is like the freeze is not usually 100 percent on the spiderlings so if it misses a couple of those it can cause an issue but i think we're going to be okay here this looks like another successful run there you go minute 50 again it's not going to let me get the 132 just because i'm trying to show it off and anytime i try to show stuff off on video it's like just predetermined it's going to fail so we got two out of three there and like i said that's the first time it failed uh this evening when i was testing it so that's kind of what we've got going on there. So let's go into the team. I'll kind of show you how we have the setup here uh, in the pre preloaded team. So basically you can see the stats here on the right side too. I like how they do this. So we've got Tyrant, he's at 234 speed, uh, 259 accuracy. You can see there we have him set up basically just to use his Hellfire Torrent uh, whenever it's up priority basically. Coming down to Renegade here, she's our slowest at 187. Basically that way it allows everyone to go before her and then she can drop that cooldown with the sacrificial uh ritual here and you see that we have her set up to use that whenever uh she can use it now we have our cold heart here she's at 210 speed uh, i kind of 
lost a bit of her accuracy to get that speed up there. You see your crit rate 83, crit damage is only 240, so she's not hitting that hard, but she's doing, doing enough for us here. But we have her set up because for some odd reason when you run her AI, she will not use the Heart Seeker uh, as her first ability. So we actually have that set up to go first and basically use that whenever it's available. So she's throwing that damage out. Uh, Sir Nick, we just have him pull her protection set to be his first one there. So he's putting that shield up on everybody. And then with uh, Achak, we have Frostfire Gale. So he's dropping that freeze. He or she, I, I think Achak is actually a she. Uh, but that way she drops that ice frost down there on everybody, freezes all the little spiderlings. And that really helps us out. You can see their accuracy 298, speed is 203. So just to kind of give you guys an idea on some of the stats there, make sure we save this and drop back out. So let's go back up now. We will go into Spider 20 and I will show you guys my Spider 20 team that I'm now using uh, to farm this like crazy. And see if we can find it here. All right, so here we go. Now this is the <laughs> the kind of the like this is the Lydia the broken team here. So we'll go in and pick this team. So this team we actually do have Septimus or Septimus, however you like to say it. We have him up in the top slot here with his attack aura. Uh, we've got Lydia, uh, and then our three cold hearts. I have three cold hearts on this account that I built. I actually built two for regular dungeons, and then I built one to use in the Doom Tower, who's kind of lower accuracy, so that uh, you wouldn't get the turn meter penalty on some of the bosses there. But let's go ahead and uh, cut this one loose. Let you guys see how this one works in action. It's pretty quick. It goes pretty fast. We got Lydia basically just comes out here uh, with her decreased defense and her weaken. And then we just go to town with all of our big hitting abilities. There's a Heart Seeker. There's another Heart Seeker. There's another Heart Seeker. And then we'll let, uh, I think Lydia gets one turn in here because she's a little too fast. And then Septimus will come in and finish it off. And of course, they, they have to do a 15 second run. They can't give me the 13 uh, for the purpose of the video there. But we'll run it again. Uh, looks like we're going to have to burn some energy here, but that's fine. So let's run it again. And uh, the thing is with this one, you could actually substitute, I think, uh, someone like Draco or uh, Rugnar Gold Gleam for Lydia in this case. Just you need somebody that's going to put the weekend and the decreased defense out there uh, first. And again, we're gonna, maybe it's the computer I'm using. Maybe because I switched computers, so it's two seconds slower. But you know, it, that just drives me nuts. Where they you, you run it all night at 13 seconds, and then all of a sudden they're just like, nope, nope, we're not going to do it. 13 seconds. It could be just the frame rates a little bit slower on this PC. Uh, the PC I record off is different than the one that I actually play the game on on the other side. So. That's probably what's causing it, but it just annoys me when that happens. But let's see again. You see all the heart seekers coming out there, and again, we're going to get... Yeah, something's going on with the frame rate or the, the game not playing as fast on this computer. Because it's 13 seconds every single time on my other one. But either way, you guys kind of get the idea. We're not going to complain about a 15 second uh, Spider 20 run that's going to help us farm silver uh, pretty fast. And quite honestly, even if you're uh, working on these later game dungeons, for tournaments and things, if you can farm up uh, stage 20 pretty fast, uh, it's still going to be pretty efficient whenever you are trying to do uh, the spider tournaments uh, to get some points there. So same, same setup here is uh, a little bit similar to the other team we were working on. It's basically uh, Lydia is going to come out first. You can kind of get an idea of my Lydia build here. See, she's got 300. She's actually my second ever champion. I've been able to hit 300 speed on. Uh, kind of have her built with Doom Tower hard in mind in case we do decide to start working on that. And 354 accuracy. But she basically starts off with the Siren's Whale, which is going to do that decreased defense um, and the weaken. And then I believe our Cold Hearts kind of go. And again, it's just all of them are set basically to use Heart Seeker uh, first and whenever it's up. And then the Septimus is just set to use Holy Sword as his first ability. You can see there, he's actually really slow. I need to rebuild him. It's been a while since I've actually uh, worked on him, but you can see there, he's pretty slow, but he comes out slamming with that Holy Sword and finishes it off for us there. And uh, like, I, that's one of the cool things about this, like I was saying, is that this is not even like anywhere close to having like super good gear on these champions. And we're able to do uh, these farms pretty effectively. Let's bounce back out here, and you can see just by building this, I haven't been really farming Spider at all today, and just by uh, building these two teams that allow us to farm pretty quickly, we're able to get through these rewards pretty fast, so that's pretty good. Um, I don't even really need that guy. I've almost finished the fusion, so I'll probably just grind through the rest of that just to get that epic book up at the top. But let's go ahead and go in here, and I'll show you uh, some of the champions. Of course, if we did see Lydia here, you can kind of see how 
I built her up now. She is one of my better champions, obviously. We just got her from Faction Wars. Blew almost 30 million silver building her up. And uh, like I said, my second champion ever with 300 speed, even though my banner kind of decided to screw me and only hit speed one time. I farmed a lot to get this banner. Uh, legendary accuracy banner. And was hoping we'd get at least a double or triple speed roll out of that. But, you know, we at least got an, a max on the glyph, so that's okay, I guess. Uh, but you can see there, that's basically her build. Like I said, she's pretty fast, got a lot of accuracy. She's going to come out of the gate first, drop that weak and decrease defense. Uh, but like I mentioned, you can also use Draco for that. You can also use someone like Ragnar Golgleam. There's a couple champions you could put in that slot to drop that uh, weaken and decrease defense. Uh, we got Sir Nick, who we were using on the other team. And he's just kind of built for general use. Uh, you see 209 speed, crit rate's over 100, uh, crit damage is okay. And then he's got a 82k HP, so that's kind of his build there. I'm trying to think of who else we got. Uh, Tyrant here. And uh, Tyrant is going to be at 42,000 HP plus the 21, so right around 63. Now with his aura in place, I think it puts him at like, uh, him and Santa are both well over 80,000. That's kind of why we have him in the lead slot there and that team is because that extra HP also allows us to survive uh, that big hit from the spider mom when she blows up the babies. Uh, you see he's at 234, 259 accuracy. That could probably come up a little bit, but uh, we kind of put his gear together haphazardly just to get him to work for this uh, this team and this composition. Let's see who else we got here. Uh, here's Septimus, and again, my Septimus is built like crap. Uh, I just managed to get him at over 100% crit rate, and then his crit damage could be a lot better. And um, you can see his gear's not even rolled up yet. I think he's in, oh, he's actually he is in speed boots, okay. But he's really slow. So he's someone, this is just like when I got him, I slapped the gear on him probably five, six months ago. And I just basically used him to farm Minotaur and farm the uh, uh, the Force Keep. So I haven't really gone back to fix him up, but uh, he's definitely do a re-gear, hopefully into some Savage gear at some point. Uh, and then these teams, like I said, could get even faster, which is kind of cool. And then we can go down and take a look at our I checked the Wendron. And again, he's not even fully built. We just finished him up tonight, honestly, and I haven't been able to roll his gear all the way up or get him a banner or a neck PC. We only have two there that for Demon Spawn, which really aren't that great. Uh, but you can see there his speed and his accuracy is pretty high. We'll probably start using him in some other content as well. And then we come all the way down here somewhere. We have our three Cold Hearts. So we got Cold Heart number one. Cold Heart number two, and then Cold Heart number three. She's the low accuracy Cold Heart. She's actually the only one I have in a Savage set. Uh, she's not that fast either. We need to get her speed up a little bit. But again, you can kind of see here. I mean, look, we got a ring on here that's only level eight. Um, so again, you know, the gear is not that amazing. And then we got Renegade here who we have her just in a shield set. That's basically for general use. Yeah, you can see her stats here. Pretty decent HP for her. defense is not that good. Speed is, uh, wanted her to be fast, but not faster than everybody else. So she's going to go last and basically recharge uh, everybody's abilities there. I don't think she has masteries. She does not have any masteries. Um, everybody else has got masteries on them. I'll just give you guys a quick glance here. So you can see Cold Heart 1, Cold Heart. We've got them all built differently too, just to kind of experiment and see what would work. So I probably should put these two in Helm Smasher at some point. And then Renegade, like we said, had did not have any masteries. Come up here. Has same thing with <laughs> Jack has no masteries. So you're kind of getting an idea. This is like a total budget on my account. Um, now Septimus, we had we were using him in Clan Boss, so that's got to go back to Helm Smasher too. So you can see here, these builds are not even anywhere near being finished or good. <laughs> so the fact that we're able to get this kind of uh, and then Tyrant's not even finished. I didn't realize his weren't done. So you see here, we got a lot of room to improve uh, all this. Now, Lydia, of course, she is finished all the way, and then Santa is finished as well. But that'll kind of give you an idea there at the spider teams uh, that I've been working on. I uh, just wanted to show those off a little bit here because they do make farming uh, a lot more fun, and it's a lot better than bashing our head against Spider-15 on the free-to-play over and over, <laughs> not being able to finish it, and uh, we can come over on the main account you get a little bit of revenge on the on the spider dungeon here so anyways guys uh, as always if you have any questions about anything in the video feel free to let me down know down below in the comments and i will do my best to get you an answer as soon as i can 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and a look at um, some later game content versus some of the free to play stuff I usually do. It's kind of fun to make this and show this off a little bit. You know, we're going to try some other fun things too. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to go revisit my boy Grappler and uh, we're going to try him out in the Bat Eater comp and see how he can do there because you guys know I love. He's my favorite rare champion. So, <laughs> going to see how that goes. Hopefully, we'll get that video up here in the next uh, couple of days, uh, depending on how busy it is this weekend. But uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. As always, guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, thanks as always for watching, and I will see you again next time.